Hello and welcome. This is Inside USF Basketball. I'm your host, Pat Olson. We'll sit down next with six-year USF head coach Rex Walters. We'll talk about the Don's first nine ball games. We'll take a peek ahead to the next two USF home games and, of course, a look ahead to upcoming West Coast Conference play. All that next right here on Inside USF Basketball. Rex, uh, assess your first nine ball games. A lot of games in a hurry here in the first part of the season. Five and four. I know you lost a couple at home. You probably felt you could have won. Uh, talk about that first stretch of, of games here. It was a lot of games. You know, I, I, the 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 good thing is we got a lot of game experience, which which is important. Uh, you know, the bad thing is you don't get to improve through practice. You don't get to improve through film. Um, you you want to say it's about adjustments, and it is, but it's also about habits. And uh, sometimes when there's uh, a lot of games in succession um, have it start to decline. We've had a few roster adjustments to our team, uh, which causes some adjustments to how we play, uh, our style of play, and, and there's had, had to be an adjustment with that. You know, uh, with the new roster, without Cody, you know, offense doesn't come as easy. You know, Cody was uh, really good at finding the open man and, and making offense easy. Saying all that, it made us play faster, which uh, was also con concerned defensively. I thought we were playing almost too fast but we would get quality shots because of Cody. Now with this team, we need to be more of a ball reversal paint touch team. Um, um, you know, I thought with the exception of uh, Illinois State in that, in that succession of games from Montana on, I thought defensively we were starting to do some better things. Uh, this is a good group. It's a good team. Um, uh, we've been tested. Obviously, I think that people are going to find as the season goes along, a lot of these teams that we drop games to are pretty darn good teams. We, we've had good practices since then. Our guys have a more of a sense of urgency. They have a better understanding of, of uh, where we're headed, what we got to do to get there. I'm excited about that. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, Nickel State. You alluded to uh, the roster adjustment and, and you know, your four-year veteran Cody Doolin really in his fourth year this year electing to depart the team. Talk about some of the emotions maybe your team went through. And, and was this a good time to have the break, to have that two weeks to get away from, from some of the game action? I think you need practice. I think the biggest thing is you need practice. you, you, you got to have guys uh, get familiar with what we're trying to do and, and uh, getting the reps every day in practice and being able to emphasize it as opposed to trying to make corrections in games. You, you, you're, it's about habits. You know, it's, you are what you emphasize, and uh, this gives us a succession of practices to be able to do that. It is now a different team. Uh, it's still a very good team. Uh, our goals have not changed uh, for what we think we can accomplish. Um, but, uh, you know, that it's, there's never a good time to lose a four-year starter. You know, there's, there's, that's never a good thing. Um, but it is what it is, and you got to keep, keep moving. you got to keep working. Uh, I think uh, considering the amount of practice time that Jumbo, uh, Matt Glover, and, and Avery Holmes have had a chance to play the point, um, um, they've done a pretty good job, you know, and uh, I think the room for improvement is big, you know. So, uh, and then the other guys just getting used to that fact. We're not necessarily going to get many, maybe as many easy early looks, you know. Uh, you know Cody was as good as anybody uh, in our league in terms of finding guys and making guys better, you know, uh, getting quality shots, not running offense. I mean, we, we, he could break some plays and, and get us quality looks. And uh, with this team, I don't think we're, you know, quite that type of team anymore. We, we need to be a little bit more disciplined offensively. Uh, we need to, you know, go through our sets and, like I said, get ball reversals and more paint touches. Uh, we need to attack more inside out. I love our our three-headed uh, post situation with with Cole Cruz and, and Mark Tolufson. Uh We need to play through those guys even more. We got to make sure those guys get touches. Uh, and and then when we when we kick it outside, we got you know really good shooters and Avery Holmes, Chris uh, Chris Adams, Tim Dirksen, Mac Glover. Um, um, you know I, I, I like that. And Corey Hill, you're just, you know, I think Corey's getting better. He's getting more comfortable out there. So. Uh, that's just a, a really positive thing for us. From a pure uh, basketball standpoint, how do you replace a Cody Doolin or can you? And what sort of adjustments will this roster go through uh, as we move forward? Um, you know, the, the roster changed. And, and uh, uh, you don't – if we would have lost Cole, how would the roster change? If, if, if Cole, you know, gets injured, if one of our players gets injured, it, everyone's got to step up a little bit more. And, uh, that's what we expect them to do. I mean, you, you're not going to just uh, replace that, you know. And, and uh, we were moving more towards more ball control, more uh, 
paint touches anyways before the change was made. We felt like that was important for our team to get those, uh, get that ball to the paint, get the ball reversed, uh, and allow us to play in more set defense situations. I, I thought that, uh, you know, we, we kind of fell in love, and, and it's on me. I kind of fell in love with the idea of playing fast. Well, playing fast one way is really good if when you have the basketball. Playing fast when you're, when you're, when you're going backwards, it's not good. And uh, – uh, I think our guys got a better sense of that, better understanding of that, um, and everyone's just got to do a little bit more. You mentioned uh, a couple times the team is still a good team, and your goals haven't changed. Yeah. Expand on that a bit. Our goals haven't changed. We feel like uh, we can definitely compete for a conference championship. Uh, we, we feel like we can definitely go into any building and compete uh, and, and beat teams, and you're going to have to do that to win a conference championship anyways, whether you're going to Gonzaga, St. Mary's, BYU, Santa Clara, San Diego, Portland. None of those games are going to be easy. Um, um, I think the biggest thing for us uh, really is, you know, defensively protecting the paint. We've got to do a much better job of that. And then uh, offensively, shot selection. Shot selection for us now is, is even more important. We, we just, you know, have a tendency at times when things get rough – Guys got to understand uh, it's it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Even in the game, uh, we can't burp up quick shots. You know, it's the big thing that we're kind of hammering home. Discuss the uh, development of Cruz Pinkins to this point. I mean, here's a guy that I saw him play during the summer league. I liked what I saw. And you can't always grade things from that league. It's a different brand of basketball. But he's really developed. He's getting starter-type minutes. He's scoring it a lot. He seems to get more comfortable each and every ball game. Well, you know, I played in the Pro-Am. Um, back in the day, and it was pretty good back then. It's pretty good now. There's zero defense being played in that league. I mean, it's it's a one-on-one -on -one defense. There's no de team defensive concepts. So I, I didn't put a whole lot of stock into that. I did, you know, I do know about Cruz is he's not going to back down from anybody. Whether it's you know an NBA pro, a high-level Division One player, Cruz doesn't have a lot of back down to him, and that's what we lo loved about him. That's why we thought he could be a difference maker for us. Uh, he can score in a lot of different ways. He, he hasn't shot the ball as well from the perimeter. Uh, a lot of that's because of shot selection, just not taking the right shot at the right time. But uh, he's 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 a load to guard. He can he can face you up on the post. He can post up and get deep spots. Um, our guys are very confident in him. Uh, he's just a good player. Uh, preview this uh, final three non-conference games. You've got two, two of them on the home floor in Nickel State in America, and then you go on the road at St. John's. We've got to do a much better job of of not just protecting the paint, but when the shot goes up, finding a man, boxing him out, and then pursuing the basketball. Um, you know, that's really more of our focus defensively. And then on the offensive end, it's shot selection. You know, whether it's Nickel State, St. John's, uh, American. You know, if we don't do those things well, it doesn't matter. You know, who's on the other side, what's on the other side you're probably going to get beat, you know. Uh, so we need to do those things great. If we do those things great, you know, there's not one of those games that we can't come away and get a W. Final comment from you, Coach. It's it's just around the corner, sneaking up quick, uh, West Coast Conference play. I know you've got three games between now and league play. But as you look around the league, and I know you watch other teams, anybody kind of caught you by surprise that's had a pretty good start? The whole league really is playing well. The whole league is really good. You know, uh, some guys have, uh, have really stepped to the forefront, obviously. You know, Gonzaga uh, has done a great job, um, you know, early in the season, getting some quality wins. BYU has got some quality wins. I know they went into uh, Stanford and got a quality win that they've challenged themselves and some people have scheduled really well you know some teams haven't left the home court you know some teams have done a really good job in that area uh, but but it's going to be a grind I mean you look at Gonzaga St. Mary's BYU Portland's uh, much improved I believe uh, Pepperdine's much improved Loyola Marymount uh, really really talented San Diego with their guard situation they've added a few pieces to their guards I mean it's going to be a great league I mean every game is going to be a heck of a challenge you know for us right now we're really concentrated on things I've been talking about the whole time great with our transition defense great with our paint protection great with our box outs and then our shot selection has got to improve and we got to play inside out coach appreciate the time best of luck against Nichols thank you